Good evening, I'm Pat Davis here with the devotionals for Porterfield Baptist. I want to talk a little bit tonight about a uh, not so well known character of the Bible. In 1 Chronicles, lists the genealogies of Israel. That isn't something that I really like to read. It's kind of boring unless I'm looking for something specific. Uh, but you get down to chapter 4, verses 9 and 10, and right there it stops the genealogy. And it says, verse 9, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. Verse 10, Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me free from pain. And God granted his request. In a verse, in a Bible story. And then the writer just continued on with the genealogy. Clearly, the writer felt that this prayer was important enough to put it in the middle of the genealogy. It has to mean something. Verse 9 says Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Well, he did grow up to be a head of a notable clan. He was born into the tribe of Judah, and the name in Hebrew means pain. Now, we don't know what kind of pain he caused his mother. It could have been any number of things. But the name would not have been something that a young boy would have wanted. Uh, just think of maybe the, um, the bullying that he got over his name, because back then names, uh, the Hebrew names, uh, had another meaning. But what about this important prayer? Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me. To bless in the biblical sense means to ask for or to impart supernatural favor. When we ask God for blessings, we're not asking for more of what we could get for ourselves. We are crying out for the wonderful, unlimited goodness that only God has the power to know what about or to give us. Jabez left it entirely up to God uh, what uh, to decide to give him. And the blessings would be where, when, and how he would get them. God has a plan for us and many blessings to give us. So if we don't ask him to bless us, we don't know that we might miss out on a blessing that he intends to give us that day. Ask, promises Jesus, and it will be given to you. Matthew 7, 7. You do not have because you do not ask, said James. That's James 4, verse 2. The next part of Jabez's prayer, enlarge my territory. You ask God to enlarge your life so you can make a greatest impact for him. Jabez wanted more influence, responsibility, and more opportunity to make a mark for the God of Israel. The word territory, of course, can also mean coast or borders. It spoke of a place of one's own with plenty of room to grow. Your business or vocation or whatever you're involved in is your territory that God has entrusted to you. He wants you to accept it as a significant opportunity to touch individual lives for his glory. When we ask him to enlarge our territory, he wants us to grow as Christians. God will bring opportunities or responsibilities and people into your life. He will never send someone to you whom you cannot help with his leading. He wants us to seize any opportunities to serve him. Perhaps our prayer should be this, O oh God and King, Please expand my opportunities and my impact in such a way 
that I touch more lives for your glory. Let me do more for you. The last part of the prayer, let your hand be with me, keep me free from pain. You see, the more we do for the Lord and others, the more we may run into temptations. So he was asking God to keep his hand on him with continued blessings and to keep him from temptations. Let me end with prayer. Thank you, O Lord, for the prayer of Jabez, and that we may ask for you to expand our territory to do more for you. Keep your hand of grace upon us and protect us. Thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord, for our church at Porterfield and our leaders, and give them the wisdom and discernment to make decisions during this difficult time. Be with our nation and all the leaders that they will make wise decisions that will protect us. To you, O Lord, who can do far more than we can ever imagine or think, we thank you for all things and give you all the glory. Amen. And everybody have a good evening.